Beasts of the dread, the haunt of shattered gulls where nothing moves. But in a shroud of silence like the dead, I heard a sudden harmony of hooves. And turning saw afar, a hundred snowy horses unconfined, the silver runaways of Neptune's car, racing, spray curled like waves before the wind, sons of the mistral, fleet as him with whose strong gusts they love to flee. Who shod the flying thunders on their feet and plumed them with the snortings of the sea? Theirs is no earthly breed who only haunt the vergers of the earth and only the sea's salt herbage feed. Surely the great white breakers gave them birth. For when for years a slave, a horse of the Kamarg, in alien lands, should catch some far off fragrance of the wave, carried far inland from his native sands. Many have told the tale of how in fury, foaming at the rain, he hurled his rider and lifted his tail with coal red eyes and attracting mane, heading his course for home. Those sixty foreign leagues before him sweep, will never rest until he breathes the foam and hears the native thunder of the deep. But when the great gusts rise and lash their anger on these coasts, when the scared gulls career with mournful cries and whirl across the waste like driven ghosts, when hail and fire converge, the only souls to which they strike no pain are the white-crested fillies of the surge and the white horses of the windy plain. Then in their strength and pride, the stallions of the wilderness rejoice. They feel their master's trident in their side, and high and shrill they answer in his voice. And white tails smoking free, long streaming manes and arching necks, they show their kinship to the sisters of the sea. And forward hurl their thunderbolts of snow, still out of hardship bred, Spirits of power and beauty and delight have ever on such frugal pasture fed and love to course with tempests through the night.